I left America because I couldn't stand looking at George Bush's face anymore on the TV. I kind of wanted to go see the places that we were bombing, that my country was bombing. In a way, this, this record is a document of my attempt to gain understanding about what my country was doing. Things falling out of the sky A woman with stones in her eyes The original idea was to travel from Delhi in India to Istanbul in Turkey overland and I wanted to record along the way so whatever musicians I met I would basically record them for the record. Words empty as churches Plans are broken bottles One, two, On the beach The future we're looking for Is still so far out of reach Script lying on I would basically roll into a town and uh, check into the cheapest hotel I could find and ask the owner of the hotel um, how I could put on a dance party, a notch party, which is basically um, an Indian or Pakistani version of a belly dance. Um, except I didn't want the belly dancer and I didn't want the singer, which is basically like hiring the Rolling Stones and you tell Mick Jagger he has the day off. Communication was a problem, and how we basically did it was got, I had one microphone, so I'd get the whole band going. I never got what I expected. There was always chaos. There was always um, lots of uh, opium involved, because uh, at least in India, the super musicians like to take opium. <laughs> I always got something better than what I originally wanted because of the lack of communication. So in a way, the songs really developed and improved because of the lack of communication. I think the you know the end result, because of how it was recorded and you know just in a hotel room, kind of punk rock style. And keeps it organic and keeps it in the, the fire water, sort of live, off the spirit. This is no joke. Yeah, this is my life. This is my life. Prior to this, fire water has always been uh, completely analog band, but I thought maybe it was time for a change and uh, use the technology. I, I had to record on computer. I couldn't lug a huge recording studio with me through uh, Pakistan. So a laptop and a microphone, basically it all fit in my backpack. And that's what I was limited to. So once I was there, once I was already using the computer, it seemed to make sense to try and roll with that. So the thing I kind of like about that is that even though Israelis can't go to Pakistan and Pakistanis can't come to Israel because neither of those countries can seem to get along, um, that uh, somehow a bunch of Pakistanis and a bunch of uh, Israelis wound up playing on the same record with uh, one fallen Christian. That's me. Uh, I only made it as far as the Afghanistan border, but uh, uh, I got a lot of great I met a lot of great people and recorded a lot of great stuff and uh, it was uh, well worth the trip. So uh, that's why this record is called The Golden Hour. It's my favorite time of day. It's when things uh, cool down a little bit in the tropics and uh, have a beer, have a cigarette, watch the sun go down. Hope the sun comes back up again tomorrow. Maybe if you're lucky the moon will come out and uh, you can dance under the stars. That's what this record is about.
Now I'm midnight, be good looking, but I'm a killer in the dark. And girl, you know my fight is so much better than my bark. So if you need a friend tonight, why don't you come find me in the park? I'm a three-legged dog on the wrong. Ah!